Hi everyone and welcome to Upload VP. My name is Andrew Watts and in this WordPress tutorial we're gonna learn about this. In uh, this uh, WooCommerce tutorial part 3 we will set up a main menu and a secondary menu. We will set up the WooCommerce pages like cart, checkout page and my account manually. So to do this go to dashboard, go to pages, click on all pages. So this sample page we click on trash Go to add new. Okay, so first we want to have shop. Click on publish. Then click on add new. Now we want to have my account. To make this as a WooCommerce page, we have to go to text and type in uh, jump forward you do this with alt and 8 type in woo commerce underline my underline account then uh, jump backwards alt 9 then go to publish Click on add new. Type in cart. Do the same thing. Type in alt 8 WooCommerce underline cart. Alt 9. Click on publish. Go to add new. Now we want to have the checkout page. Type in Alt 8 WooCommerce underline checkout then Alt 9. Click on publish. Okay, so now we have set up the WooCommerce pages for the web shop. Okay, so these pages you must have to make your e-commerce work. Now we can set up some uh, other pages. So click on add new. We want to have a blog. Just click on publish. Click on add new. We want to have a contact page, click on publish, go to add new. We also want to have uh, terms and uh, conditions, click on publish. Add new, customer service, publish, click on add new again, and uh, uh, about page, it's great to have, click on publish. Okay, so all the pages is set up. So what we need to do now is to go to appearance. Click on menus. Create a menu. So we will start with the primary menu. Click on create menu. 
choose primary menu and if you want to have this mobile friendly choose handheld menu you can only choose one menu for this mode click on save menu go over here and choose the pages you want to show in the primary menu we want to have shop blog contact terms and conditions my account then go to add to menu okay so we have the pages in place now we want to reorder the positions so we want to have the shop to be first then the blog then terms and conditions my account and then the contact page click on save menu then we want to create the secondary menu click on create a new menu name the menu then click on create menu choose the pages you want to have in the secondary menu so we want to have about us customer service checkout cart click on add to menu okay so the pages are in place let's reorder them we want to have checkout cart customer service and about us then click on secondary menu go to save menu okay so this is how you create the menu now we have to go to WooCommerce click on settings go to products and we can edit the settings right now so choose the measurements for your products choose the dimensions unit reviews product ratings if you want to enable ratings on reviews ratings are required to leave a review show where a five owner label for customers reviews only allow reviews from verified owners okay then go to display so this one we want to set up shop page select the page select shop okay so then you can choose shop page display show products show categories and sub categories show both we want to have show products default category display show products show subcategories show both default product sorting so this uh, controls the default sort order of the catalog you can choose one of these add to cart behavior redirect to the cart page after successful additions enable Ajax add to cart buttons on archives here you can choose product images choose the size of the catalog images choose single product image product thumbnails product image gallery if you want to enable lightbox for product images or not click on save changes then we want to go to inventory here you can manage stock, enable stock management, hold stock for 60 minutes or less or more. Notifications, enable low stock notifications. You will be notified if your stock is low. Enable out of stock notifications. You will be notified if you are out of stock. Enter your email here where you want to have the notifications. okay 
choose when you want to have the notifications if you only have two left out of stocks when you have zero left if you are out of stock you can hide the products from the catalog here you can choose stock display format click on save changes and this is for downloadable products only okay so this is the products setup then we go to checkout here if you want to enable the use of coupons calculate coupons discounts sequently checkout enable guest checkout force secure checkout and here we want to change the checkout pages so this one is the cart just select our cart page this is the checkout page select our checkout page and the terms and conditions select our terms and conditions page and this is just some checkout endpoints and this is the payment setup so we will set up this later click on save changes go to accounts so here we want to select my account page so choose my account and this is my account endpoints here you can choose registration options enable registration on the checkout page enable registration on my account page display returning customer login reminder on the checkout page and here you can uh, change account creation click on save changes this is the setup for our main menu now the pages are set up so go back to the website now we have the primary menu shop so this is the place where your products will end up we have the blog terms and conditions my account contact and here in the secondary menu we have checkout cart customer service and about us if we click on cart we will come to the cart and checkout page make sure that this is a cart to go to my account so everything looks all right so this is how you set up a primary menu and the secondary menu also how you set up WooCommerce pages manually like a checkout page cart page my account page and the shop page up next we are going to learn how you can add products in your WooCommerce store Okay everyone, I hope this helped. Please uh, subscribe, leave a comment, make a thumbs up. You can also go to our premium support forum at uploadvp.com and uh, we will see you in the next tutorial. So have a great day and uh, goodbye.